Good evening, Karina Cavallio with ABC News. There were serious flaws in the decision process to close Queensland's only residential youth mental health facility. That's the damning finding of a commission of inquiry promised after an ABC investigation into the Barrett Centre's controversial scrapping by the Newman government. The Premier has vowed to build a replacement facility. Two and a half years after the Barrett Centre closed and the deaths of three former patients, parents heard what they've long believed. The decision to close the centre in 2014 was a bad decision with severe repercussions. Commissioner Margaret Wilson's report slams the processes that saw the state's only residential facility for adolescents with severe mental illness closed. Plans for a replacement centre had already been scrapped. Before that was done, there was no analysis of the needs of the young people who accessed the Barrett Adolescent Centre. Nor was there enough consultation. Those who wanted to see the back closed pressed ahead. Her report found throughout the decision-making process there was no proper, if any, risk assessment. Flawed, chaotic and uncoordinated decision-making by government in an environment uh, where no one took responsibility or accountability. Even so, the Commissioner determined that overall the transition arrangements for the patients were adequate. I think they were doing it as best they possibly could under the circumstances. 17-year-old Talia Neighbour and 18-year-olds Will Fowl and Caitlin wilkinson Whitaker died within eight months of the closure. Talia was transitioned out and she only survived for another 10 weeks and then she was gone. I've lost my daughter for such a stupid, stupid um, reason as saving money and somebody's agenda. The government has accepted all of the inquiry's recommendations, promising, among other things, a new residential extended treatment facility and reviews of the hospital and health service system, service agreements with external contractors and the transition of adolescents into adult mental health services. It's been a long ordeal for families. In 2014, documents obtained by the ABC showed the government's own experts had warned of the risks if a similar service was not available. That advice was not heeded. Lawrence Springborg, who was Health Minister at the time, hadn't read the expert report. The inquiry found he hadn't been adequately advised. The opposition says the inquiry has been a multi-million dollar political witch hunt. The Public Service Commissioner will advise whether action should be taken against any individual. Reporter Cathy McLeish led the ABC's investigation into the Barrett Centre closure and joins me now. Cathy, does this answer everything for the families? Well, Karina, the volume, the report comes in two parts. The volume released today goes into how the decision was made. The second volume is highly sensitive and confidential and access to that is restricted. So the parents will be looking for the detail in that. In addition, a joint inquest into the three deaths had been announced. And today the coroner, deputy coroner said that he will read the report carefully before making his decision. So so uh, the quest for the parents for answers uh, is not over yet. Cathy McLeish reporting there. If you need help, you can contact Lifeline or Beyond Blue.